Finally, I just want to raise a few points around the question. Under what conditions will a progressive, democratic, community-owned, community-controlled, community media sector thrive? In my view, there's one key condition. The availability of public funding. <coughs> Not controlled in a crude way by government. Public funding in so far as there are public systems to allocate resources and publicly accountable systems, whether it's through an allocation by parliament, whether it's through exploring a model similar to the SABC. I, th I think there's a case to be built here. Uh, that, that, that requires some debate. I extend this point, by the way, of public funding, not just for the community media sector, because I think if democracy is to survive, there must be public funding of democracy, including struggles against the state, <coughs> against the policies of the state. It's complicated because this public funding at some point requires the mediation of the state. And, and we know that the state is a self invested body that the times will seek to restrict resources in a way which continues to perpetuate the state. So it's a complicated debate I'm raising. But for me, if we are to move forward in terms of the of the sector, public funding is key. Public funding points to something else. The need more than ever for a decisive, effective state that takes on powerful interests in society. If it does not do that, the MTTA will continue getting 20 to 35 million rands a year from the private media sector. We know that the joke. It's meaningless to find any community media sector. However, a state that stands on the back of an organized and mobilized people and takes on powerful interests in society will be able to sustainably generate and allocate resources for a community media sector. So I think, I think for me that the key struggle is also around uh, public funding. In the immediate period, I think there is to be a challenge, speaking here as a former MTGA board member, there's a challenge that needs to be thrown to the MTGA. Up to now, the MTGA has largely focused on its funding <coughs> role. Yet its mandate goes beyond that, goes to actually serious activism by that agency to challenge power and structures and so on in the media sector. We saw the report that MTGA released uh, not so long ago about the structure of ownership. But for me, that's just the first step to a more activist agency that really focuses on development and participation of the media. So, comrades, I'm throwing all these points to basically say there's a future for the community media sector that is different from dominant mainstream media that manufactures themselves. <laughs> I would be happy with the community that said that actually constructs and supports dissent. <laughs> so uh, in that way then, we can see the possibility of the ideas put forward by the change in library and Marx in terms of how we change, who generates ideas in society. Thank you.